the state of nation building in the new South Africa, Neville Alexander. We are going to go through this article together and analyze and uh, help each other understand so that we can later be able to answer the questions. Uh, the first paragraph here goes, in this lecture I intend to problematize the concept of nation building and to consider in which ways and with what measure of success we can be, we can be said to be involved in a nation building project in post-apartheid South Africa. That is to look at the problem of building a nation and to consider in which ways us and with what measure what can we do to build a nation after apartheid in South Africa? It is my belief that most of us are trapped in Eurocentric concepts of a nation. That is, we view the concept of a nation in the way that Europeans define a nation or a race or ethnic group and other such putative social entities putative, that is the generally accepted way in which they view those social entities. One of the consequences of this fact is that we cannot arrive at strategies that promote minimally the networking and optimally the integration of the population of South Africa unless that is if we view, we viewed a nation in terms of how Europeans view a nation. We cannot arrive at strategies that will promote at least the networking and optimally the integration, the coming together of the population of South Africa. Unless, therefore, we can invent a new discourse or have a new discussion involving a new set of concepts that is more appropriate to the peculiarities of South African history. Seen in, the context, seen in the context of world history, we are doomed to repeat many of the mistakes that have been made in so many post-colonial colonial African as well as in other former colonial states. That is, if we don't look at this issue of nation building from a concept of, from a South African perspective and look at the nitty gritty, the detailed factors that are only relevant to us as South Africans. We are doomed. We are bound to repeat the same mistakes that were done by other African states which were free before us or which, which, which were independent before us as South Africans and even other places in the world. That is the first paragraph. Some basic assumptions. In order to have a reasonable discussion with some hope of arriving at a sense of direction, I have to spell out some of my basic assumptions. That is, we need to, in order to understand uh, some of the things in this article, we need to uh, understand the, 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 the point of, or, or the paradigm of, or, or, or the viewpoint of the author. He says, I do this because I believe it is essential that my audience follow my train of thought from the beginning in order, to, in order that the participants can say ex exactly where they part company with the frame of reverence I use for my analysis. That is, you need to understand the, 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 his, the perception of the author or his perspective. To begin with, I understand the nation to be a historically specific political community. A nation to be a community that is under the, is the same political rule or political governance. The word political relates to matters of governance or ruling or, or, or people who are belonging to the same government or political formation. Whatever else the nation might be, might be for individuals and groups, it is constituted by people who have been thrown together through particular historical events and who have thereby acquired a community of interest in, in spite of contradictions of both an antagonistic and a non-antagonistic kind. That is, 
people come together as a community, they can come from different backgrounds for whatever reason, like in a, in a, in a, if you are a, a, a society in a, an informal settlement, you come from different areas of the country, for whatever reason, looking for a job, some come from other countries running away from a war or something, but at the end of the day, you end up being together as a community, you have uh, things of, you, you could be sharing a street, you could be sharing a, a, a school and a, a, a shop, uh, different, for whatever reason, you will end up having some, some common interest as a community living together in that particular area. Whether you being agreeing or not agreeing on certain things, but the bottom line is that you will be one society that is antagonistic or of an un, un, non antagonistic kind. Following Benedict Anderson, that is a quote from Benedict Anderson 1983 on page 55. I accept that administrative units, if they endure over time, can acquire or create meaning. That is administrative unit, manage, management unit or whatever. Like, if, if, if we are in a society, the way administrative has to do with management or... or, or, or or, 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 or how uh, issues are, are, are managed in, a, in, a, in a, how a, a society or a community is administered or managed for them. If they enjoy over time, they can acquire or create meaning and say this is the community of Alexandra or this is the community of this. Like let's say we've got people in 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 in, 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 in a township which. The township was formed by maybe uh, during apartheid they were forcibly removed from whatever places they were staying and they end up in, in that particular territory. Over time they become a community, they, they identify with that area, they become the people of that particular area, they, it becomes their home. That is what this, uh, uh, the, this point is trying to. Concretely this means that even oppressed indeed enslaved groups of people and individuals eventually identify with a political territory political territorial community that has evolved no matter how arbitrary or artificial its origin it doesn't matter how you came up to live where you are living or you belong in that community whether it's in a village or a society or the whole of south africa the fact that you are in that in, in that territory or in that area, you are part of that community, you, are, you identify with that place as your home, as, 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 as a, if it's a nation, if it is be, to be called uh, people of KwaZulu-Natal, you you, you, it, it, it doesn't matter how you came to live in KwaZulu-Natal. When we say people of KwaZulu-Natal, if you are living there, you are, you, you, you are part of that thing. That is the point that the author is trying to make here. One only need one need only refer to such situation as that of the US, of the USA or Brazil to understand how this process takes place. Like in the USA, you have uh, the African Americans who original some of the they are the, the, the descendants of those people who went there as slaves and whatever. But eventually, they are Americans. They identify. They don't. They don't know any other home except. That they are Americans. That's the point. That I do not know that much about the history of Brazil or whatever. In the South African case, it is a fact that, however much liberation movements have condemned colonial conquest, the fact that we were colonized, we were under uh, we were British colony later on, who even we were some, somehow independent from Britain, but we were still under the, the rule of the settlers or the Bure or the Africaners, whatever. There is no today, and if we leave aside a few episodic moments, a few exceptional moments where there has not been since 1910 when the Union of South Africa was formed, a single political formation, whether of the oppressor or of the oppressed, that has not accepted the reality and the international legality of the South African state, that as South Africa we are a state. Whether it, we can even say the, 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 the borders that we are having were formed by or, or colonial, colonial powers or, 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 or we don't agree, but at the end of the day, 
the, the whole world view us as South Africa. Whether we are we are we love each other or whatever, we are seen as a state. This state, as is well known, was the result of a compromise between Afrikaner nationalists, that is the Afrikaners, uh, and the British Empire, that is the British. As I said, we were a British colony before. A compromise that explicitly excluded black people of color, that is the black people, from the franchise, from the union, before the... It, 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 there was a government which black people were not allowed to vote and all. Today, to, today, certainly, every single political formation accepts that we are all South African in this purely jurid, juridical sense, as compared with other states. Any form like we have, you can have the EFF, you can have another political, whatever their scope, they, they, they operate within the territories, within the jurid, jurisdiction territory of South Africa. Whether they agree in, 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 with how South Africa was formed or how we, had, we ended up being this unit that is South Africa, but we are all one, we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are being viewed as one state as South Africa. At a descript, descriptive level, 